We're getting low and it's time to buy some inventory. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a purchase order in SIN 7. First of all, over on the left hand side, we see this icon that looks sort of like the front of a ship. We're going to click on that and then select new purchase order. We'll select new purchase order advances us to the screen. Now let's take a look at this screen for a second. We've got the supplier area here, the supplier address, and then the address it's going to be delivered to. That's our warehouse that we reside in. Down below are the fields that manage the status of the purchase order. Scroll down a little bit further and we see some action buttons for the purchase order. And at the bottom we have a grid that allows us to add items to the purchase order. So we're gonna start at the top and I'll select the supplier. I'll just start typing in the supplier's name. It'll automatically start filtering through suppliers and selecting the supplier. So I'll select the supplier and it should auto populate everything else. If it doesn't, that means that this supplier doesn't have what's required. So we can go back to that supplier and check and see, take a look at what information we have for that supplier. So this is Lips Pool Supplies. We'll go to the supplier and see that there is no address for Lips Pool Supplies. So let's look up the address for Lips Pool Supplies. Copy the mailing address, save it back. All right, let's try that again. So we go to purchase, purchase order. Last time we clicked on new purchase order. This time we went to purchase order, then clicked on new purchase order. You can do it either way. Type in Lips Pool Supplies. And now we have it auto populating here, but we don't have any contact information for Lips Pool Supplies. First name, last name, phone number, email address, we want to get all that in there. Now that we have that in there, that should auto populate. There we go. There's all the contact information and the address information, and then the, the delivery to address. Everything looks great. So let's look at the rest of these fields. Alternative tax rate. Uh, we can leave that blank. Tracking code. We can leave that blank. Payment terms and project name. So payment terms we want to we want that auto populated, so let's fix that. So it auto populates every time. Now when we put the vendor in, it auto populates. So this is something you wanna to try to do when you first start using SIN 7 is test it out, make sure that all the data is in there and the purchase order can be created without problem. So now that we have all of the above information, supplier, supplier address, delivery address, we can scroll down here and start adding products or items to the purchase order. We can put in the product name or the product code, whichever we like best. I'm gonna put in the product name. I remember that better. We're gonna buy some springs. Let's buy 50 of these springs. Uh, let's say 5,000, okay? Go for another type of spring, an AN spring. We'll buy 5,000 of those also. Notice as we type in the product number, it tells us how many we have left. That's really helpful. So we'll put in the product number. If we run out of lines, we can add a new line. And then once we're done, we say save as a draft if we just want price and availability. Or we'll say approve and make it an actual purchase order. If we approve it, we want to make sure that we send this purchase order to the vendor. So there's some options here to print or email. We live in the 20th century, so it's most likely we're going to email this purchase order. Here's the contact that we can email it to. We've got our email signature in here and a quick and easy template to email this. We can click send email and that will send the purchase order with a link. If you notice the link in the, the email, there was a link right here they could click on and bring them to a copy of the purchase order. 
So there's our purchase order created in Sin7. Thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting. <music>